Hi, today I want to talk to you a little bit about one of the less commonly known symptoms of anxiety and how this might be a sign that you should seek the help of a licensed professional. So my name is Dr. Sonia and I'm a licensed clinical psychologist with over 10 years of experience and several of those years have been spent treating people with a variety of anxiety disorders. And while anxiety is known primarily as a disorder of worry and fear, uh, there are other symptoms that go along with it, uh, and we're gonna talk a little bit about those today. So one of the things that you might not think of when you think about struggling with anxiety is difficulty with concentration. And there are a couple reasons that this happens, and I'm gonna speak a little bit about each of them and whether or not this might apply to you. So the first reason that anxiety might lead to decreased concentration is just because when you're really struggling with anxiety, you're typically spending a whole lot of your time either thinking about what has happened in the past, what you have done in the past, or what you have said in the past that you wish you would have done or said differently, or you're worried about some something in the future, either something that's going to go wrong, or a fear about the future, or some level of catastrophic thinking about the future. And so basically, because you're worrying so much about these two things, it's very, very tough to concentrate and focus on what's going on in the present moment. And so tasks that otherwise would be potentially easy to deal with become almost insurmountable because you really can't just stay focused and present enough to deal with them because of the level of anxiety you're experiencing. The, the second and even more uh, important reason why concentration is a symptom of anxiety is because when you're super anxious, your body is reacting as well as your brain. And one of the things that can happen is your body can respond as if it's actually in danger. And what this does is it sends you into fight or flight. And if you think about it, when you think about um, an animal, this is typically the way we think about fight or flight. So an animal that's been cornered and is in danger, they'll either try to fight or they will try to run away. Well, humans do the same thing. And so what happens is when your body is preparing for this, your thinking brain literally goes offline. So essentially, all of the resources that you would normally have to concentrate on the task at hand are unavailable to you because you're getting ready to deal with this perceived danger that you're facing. So if any of these symptoms resonated with you and you think you might be struggling with anxiety, I really encourage you to reach out and have a consultation with a licensed professional who can look at the signs and symptoms that you're struggling with and develop a plan with you to address these so that you can lead a fuller, healthier life. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find a lot more content on a variety of mental health topics. And if you're interested in learning more about online counseling, please click the link to betterhelp.com below.